One time, he tried to take his life. He actually took detergent uh, to take his life because of, and, and he said uh, he did that because um, he felt life wasn't, wasn't for him because um, he got abducted. At the time they talked to him, his life has changed. And right now he's very strong. Uh, he's, uh, uh, he has left everything to God. He's uh, very patient with the court process. Yeah, whatever outcome, it's, it's go to will decide. And so that was really uh, his, his message. Um, and, and he said he needs, he needs uh, the Luo version. Um, book Lega Kiwe Palo Cristo. Uh, it's 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 uh, a prayer and song book for Christian. And uh, God allows him to go back home. He wants to go to his church, the Catholic church in Chorom, and he wants to join the choir, and he wants to play his piano, and he wants he wants the choir to be better and modern. And he writes uh, writes uh, in English, and now speaks good English. And he also says it um, uh, is not locked every time. He, he plays football. Uh, they have uh, a workout place, you know, where they go to a gym. Uh, and he says that he, he, they do it together with some of the uh, people uh, taking care of them. When when the wife came last year, uh, went back uh, expecting, and uh, has given birth. And the guy was very excited talking about that. Uh, when they come, they are allowed to, they have their, do we call it conjugal exactly right? Yes, so um, he said uh, the family has been here and uh, I think uh, his children have visited him. But he said he, talk, he talks to them, he calls them. He actually said yesterday he called and talked to three of his kids. They are in Gulu, they are in school and some of his kids are in Lira, so he talks to them on phone, that's what he said.